The beautiful weather invites us to be more active. This workout will help to improve your strength and cardio fitness so you can enjoy everything about summertime. Our live online exercise classes will provide the motivation and expertise to keep you in shape. Visit our website at silversneakers.com and create an account today. It's more fun to exercise together in our live online classes. Let's warm up with a walk. We have four blocks of work, lower body strength, upper body strength, cardio, and core. You might like to have two sets of weights so you can choose if you wanna go heavier or lighter. We're gonna do each exercise about 45 seconds with a 15 second recovery and transition. So things are gonna go pretty quickly. Work at your own pace always. All right, let's keep walking here. Pump your arms. All right, we'll make a little change in four more. Four, three, alternate your knee lifts, lifting up. Up, up. Four more, please. Four, three, this knee up and hold. Find some balance, circle your toes. Circle the other way. Now listen, we're gonna add on something different. Both feet down, feet are a comfortable distance apart. Hands on your thighs, melt down into a little squat. Tuck your tailbone round your shoulders, chin to chest. Lengthen your spine, push through your thighs and rise, and let's do it again. We're gonna sink down, tuck and round. Lengthen, rise. Two more times, please. Come all the way up, walk this foot. Change in four more. Four, three, alternating knee lift up. Four more. This knee up and hold. Find your balance, circle your toes. Circle the other way. Put your foot down, roll your shoulders back, and we're ready to go. Grab your weights. Your heavier weights will work well for this. Feet are a comfortable distance apart. Chest is up. I want you to pulse back into a squat and then stand tall. All right, we're ready to go. Pulse down here. Pulse, three, two, one, squeeze and lift. Keep your spine lengthened. Your weight's going back in your heels, but there's also even weight between your big toe through the back of your foot. So press your big toes down. Little pulse at the bottom. Now you're in charge of how low you go. So think about what's a good pain-free range of motion, but get a little work in there too. All right, last one. We'll rise here. Next is a calf raise. Same rhythm, feet come in a little closer. Chest is up, shoulders back and down. We lift and pulse, three, Two, one, come down, and here we go. All right, it is okay to hold on to the chair. I know that not only does this work strength, but there's a little bit of balance there too, I know. Woo, I feel it too. We're coming up on the balls of our feet, and I really fret feel pressing my big toe down. Now relax your shoulders, pull them back just a little bit. I needed that cue, so you might as well. All right, about 15 seconds left. We got this. Push, one more. All right, go ahead and release. An alternating back lunge next, but let me give you some options so you can choose what's best for you. Take your right foot back, come in. Now your left foot back and come in. I'm gonna add that pulse rhythm. I'm gonna come down three, two, one, push up and in. You're on the back ball of your foot. You're sinking down through the front heel. That will keep the pressure off the knee joint and in the muscles right where we want them to be. Now you can make this a little bit bigger. It just depends on your experience, how you feel with the exercise today. Each day is a little different. All right, I'm keeping my chest up. 
Always keeping a tall and lengthened spine. Not leaning forward. I shift my weight back, pulse down, and remember, you're in charge of how low you go. You can build into this. All right, we got one more, and then we're going into our last exercise. Stay right here. Feet are comfortable distance apart. Chest is up. We're gonna hinge from the hips, and then rise. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's a quick rise. I want us lengthening through the hip. I want us using the glutes and the hamstrings have a little power there to lift you back up. Now think about a door hinge on your hip. We're opening the door, we're closing the door. My weights come around knee height. I'm not looking at bringing my weights close to the ground. I'm thinking about pushing my hips back. My knees are slightly bent, but they're not completely straight. Moving from the hip, not the knees. Three, two, look out in front of you. Last one, perfect. All right, weights go down. I'm going to my lighter weights. Quick transition to our upper body block. Feet a comfortable distance apart. Shoulders back and down. Turn your palms to me. A rotating bicep curl, take a look. We lift up, we rotate, we come down, we rotate. We lift, we rotate, we come down. Perfect. And then just go at your own pace here. We got about 45 seconds, although guess what? We're down to 30 seconds. That's kind of nice. Sometimes just thinking about how to do a newer exercise. This might be one you haven't done before. So you have to really think about, okay, rotate, lift. That part's not so hard, but this reverse bicep curl. To me, that's a little tricky. I don't always do that. So we're working the biceps, the front of our upper arm, but also our wrist flexors and extensors. There's a lot of value in that. All right, this is the last one. Bring your palms in, shoulders back. We have tricep extension next, and I've got a different rhythm for us. Feet a comfortable distance apart. Push your hips back. Lean into a position you can hold. Lift your elbows. Take a look at my rhythm. One arm goes back and hold. Other arm goes back and hold. They come in together. Four, three, do the other side, super slow. We go back, switch. Come in super slow, same rhythm. We're gonna pick up the pace. Here we go. One side back and hold, then the other. Come in two counts, do the other side. Perfect. All right, so there's a lot happening here. Triceps, back of the upper arm. But we also wanna hold our position. There's a lot of stabilizing muscles working to hold our torso in this hip hinge position. Weights in your heels, just a couple more. Press your big toes down. Last one. All right, pause here. Arms down, we come up. Roll your shoulders back. Overhead press, bend your elbows, palms face one another. Feet are a comfortable distance apart, or kick stand back. I like that feel. We're gonna do the same rhythm. One arm up, then the other down slow. Switch sides. Perfect, all right, we're bringing our weights up in front where we can see the weights that keeps our shoulder joint in a better position as we're working with strength. Think about an exhale and an inhale and keep it coming. Nice. You can also do this seated if you'd like. It's totally up to you. We have about 15 seconds left. You can do this. Shoulders back and down. You can also put the weights down and work on body weight resistance. I love that option as well. All right, perfect, arms come down. Next exercise, an alternating row. We're gonna add lower body work. Shoulders back and down. Put your weight in your left leg. I'm gonna step back, hinge, lift and row, release down, then push through my heel and rise, do the other side, step back. My back foot's a kickstand. I'm gonna lift and row, bringing my hands to my hips, release, let's pick up the pace. We step down, lift, push and rise. Lead with your elbows, lifting up and going back. Think about lowering through your hips, knees, and ankles, keeping your weight through your front heel so that we make our glutes and hamstrings work as well. 
This is an upper body block, but there's no reason why we can't make the lower body work as well. Of course, you're always welcome to take the legs out and just hold your legs in position. Just do the row. Make it work for you. You only have one more. All right, chest is up, step in. Weights come down. We're moving on to cardio. This is a quick workout, so walk with me, please. All right, let's do our first exercise. Walk up four, listen, step touch over and back. Walk back, step touch over and back. That's it, we've got 45 seconds. You choose the intensity that's right for you. You can walk or jog. Just know what's in your environment, what's around you. Push off. All right, I'm going back, push off. Let's try it again. Jog up, push off. Side to side, lateral training. Push off. You got this, come on. Up we go. Now you can take the traveling out. You don't have to jog. You can walk. You don't even have to push off. You can just step touch. Find what's gonna work for you, cause we're done. Just walk here. All right, next exercise that I have for us. Give yourself room to move side to side. We're gonna take two steps over, tap out and push. Do the other side. And that's our work for 45 seconds. All right, let's go. I'm gonna sink down, rotate and push. Now when I rotate, I'm tapping my back foot and I'm squeezing through my gluteal muscles. Then my opposite hand pushes, heel of my hand across, and then you get out of it what you put into it. So how hard do you wanna to work today? I'm really gonna move. I love this work, not just for the lower body. Again, the upper body, this big push. We have about 15 seconds. We're gonna get a couple more in. Just walk, please. Nice, all right, next exercise. Again, you might wanna back up. We're gonna do two strides forward and come back quick, here we go. Stride, stride, back, quick, do it again. Stride, stride. Now that you know the exercise, here's some options. Leap to me, come back quick. Leap to me, come back, here we go. Leap, leap, push off. So we are leading with one side, which means halfway through the exercise, we have to switch. But not yet, we're gonna get in two more. We're gonna get in one more. Now listen, we gotta switch lead legs. This lead leg takes your leap forward, and back we go, perfect. We'll finish up about 15 seconds here. Would you like a little bit more intensity? You might push off, push off, run back quick. Here we go. I like this one too. It's not really a jump, it's just a little leap using my arms for power. One more time. All right, tap down and walk this side. Last exercise is gonna have us moving side to side. A variation, two steps over, three knee lift. We go in four, three. All right, here we go. Two steps, three knees. That side, two steps, three knees. I'm gonna add some arms. Reach, pull, lift. Reach, pull, lift. All right, when I say the cue, reach, pull, lift, that helps me coordinate the arms and the legs. But if you don't like that, I like arms just in a natural kind of moving, working position. We've got about 15 seconds. So do what's right for you to lift your heart rate just a little bit more. This is it. And walk. Whew, those are quick blocks of work. All right, last block is our abs. Grab your lighter weight for this. Hold on to the heads of the weight. Now I'm gonna turn to the side for a better angle. Chest is up, shoulders back and down. Now I'm gonna round my upper back and lift one heel. Keep my elbows in by my side. Lift, and then do the other side. Round my spine, lift my heel, and lengthen. Let's pick up the pace. Round, round, lengthen and press. Round, round. Now I'm trying to keep the weight around my heart height. I'm bringing my elbows down and underneath my shoulders. I'm rounding my spine, pain-free range of motion. 
lifting my heel. Now I'm pressing down and lengthening. Oh, I like this. Think about bringing the bottom of your rib cage towards the tops of your hips. And then connect with your breathing. We'll exhale here. We'll inhale, release, and this is the last one. Nice job. All right, next exercise. We're gonna slide the weight over to our left shoulder. We're gonna push down slow, pull back quick, and here we go. Down, 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 pull back quick. I'm rotating my heart towards my right hip. Then with control, but a little bit of power, I'm coming back to my left shoulder. Even weight between both feet. Ah, yeah, I'm pressing down through my heels. My knees are bent, and I'm thinking rotation, rib cage to hip, pull. We got this. Now, if you wanted to add just a little bit more, you might lift your heel. Think about the floor surface you're on. I'm on a carpet, so I always have to be aware of how much friction is underneath my sneakers. We get one more, and then guess what? You only have to go over to the other side. You don't have to relearn anything. We just got to do the other side. So I'm going to round down, 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 pull back. Get a little bit of rotation through your spine. Pull back. Now relax your knees. I'm sitting my weight back through my heels. Rotate. And then you can make this more intense by maybe lifting the heel. Another way to make the workout just a little bit more challenging is simply focusing on your breathing. Exhale, 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 inhale. All right, about 15 seconds left. Relax your hands. I know, we're holding on to this weight. But we gotta think about our hands as well. Rib cage to hip. Last one. Pause here, slide the weight back to your heart, unfold your arms. Last exercise, you just need body weight. I'm gonna put my left hand on the chair. My right toe is gonna go back, oh excuse me, my left toe is gonna go back. My right arm's gonna go out in front. I'm gonna lift my left toe off the floor, my right arm up, and then tap down. We're gonna pick up the pace. We lift up, up, and down. This is our standing bird dog. We're gonna do half our time on one side, and then we'll switch. So think about moving from the hip and the shoulder. Keep your standing knee relaxed. Chest is up nice and tall. You can feel that contraction through your glutes. Let's do one more. All right, pause here, switch sides. Adjust yourself so you can find your balance. Relax your shoulders. We'll lift up, up, and then just tap down. Lift up up, tap down, out, right out in front. All right, feel the work through your glute, also the muscles along your spine. So important to build the muscular endurance of those muscles along the spine. They help with all your outdoor activities, giving you the strength and the time <laughs> to be able to do everything you wanna do. Last one. All right, pause here, come on in, just walk, roll your shoulders back. Let's finish with just a little cool down stretch. I'm gonna anchor my feet down. I'm gonna lift my arms up, palms are facing forward. Tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes, lift your heart up just a little higher. Full body stretch right here. Shoulders, front torso, hip flexors. Good, bring your hands down. Just the way we started, we're gonna sit back. Tuck and round. Lengthen, push and rise. One more time. Rise, shoulders back. Two more times. Last one. Fantastic job. Add this routine once or twice a week to your workout. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our workouts. I'll see you next time.